Hi, Tom Patterson with Flying, talking with Anne-Marie Mercedes Heikenwalder, Head of Sales and Marketing at Diamond Aircraft. Anne-Marie, thank you so much for joining us today. I know you've got some exciting news to share with us about Diamond's next steps. But first, I wanted to learn a little bit about you and your unique journey from the FBO space to leading sales and marketing at Diamond. Tell us a little bit about that. Hi, Tom. Well, it's nice to see you almost in person. Um, and thanks for the time today. So uh, just a little bit of background on myself. I started my uh, career in aviation in the FBO side of things, quickly made a name for myself, was nominated among the top 20 under 40 in Canada just a few years ago. And it kind of caught somebody's attention here at Diamond Aircraft, and uh, I ended up being actively recruited for the role here uh, to lead the team and uh, to develop our sales and marketing. All right. How did you first get interested in aviation? That's a really good question. Um, I grew up on a farm, so very far from aviation. Uh, but my brother followed his dream and became an instructor and would take his little sister with him to the airport all the time. And then it just kind of happened. My best friend was a pilot. Everybody around me seemed to join aviation. And uh, my first job ended up being that as well. So I, I fell in love with the industry from the first moment that I stepped into that aircraft with my brother and stuck to it from there. So let's talk a little bit about the big news, the next step for Diamond electric flight. What can you tell us about that? So Diamond just recently announced the EDA-40. That's our first uh, real production DA-40 aircraft that will be fully electric powered. Uh, we've chosen our battery partner in this and it's EP Systems with their Epic battery system. We expect that this aircraft will have a 90 minute flight time and about a 20 minute quick recharge. So um, EP Systems will be working with us uh, to develop this uh, mobile micro grid, which is essentially um, a mobile charging station that will uh, be able to operate similar to how a fuel truck does, as well as working with us to create stationary uh, quick charging systems as well. So what were some of the dynamics behind Diamond's decision to make the leap to electric? So Diamond has been dabbling in alternate fuels and alternate um, sort of power plants as well. Um, we've done our uh, hybrid electric multi-engine platform, which is we refer to as the HEMAP. And the HEMAP uh, was released a few years ago already, su has successfully flown. It's a twin engine hybrid electric DA40 with an Austro engine in the nose. Um, we've also worked with several universities on other projects. Uh, so we've been looking at the space quite for quite some time and we have finally settled on the da40 as being the perfect launch platform for the electric aircraft and we see that this one because of the flight time it will have as well as the quick charge ability we definitely see flight schools uh, wanting this product and being able to apply, uh, use and apply this product is diamond looking long term into the future of electric flight and maybe even experimenting with the idea of longer range electric aircraft? Yes, absolutely. This is a starting point for us and I'm certain there will be future uh, announcements within the space within diamond. So as far as this electric aircraft is concerned, uh, ideally, when would you expect the prototype to come out? Our first prototype is currently being worked on. We expect our first flight to happen in the first quarter of next year. And then we expect the platform to be certified by 2023. Because it's based on an existing and proven airframe and we are essentially retrofitting the battery, we expect to be able to hit that timeline. Well, congratulations. It's really exciting news and thank you for sharing that with us. You know, there's so many diamond products in the headlines now. There's also so much buzz, as you know, about the DA50RG, the first retract single engine in the market in years, in the GA market anyway. Flying had um, the chance to see it at Oshkosh this past summer, and I wanted to congratulate you on that. What do you think sets this aircraft, the DA50RG, apart from its competition? 
Yeah, so the DA50, as you said correctly, was launched for the North American market at Oshkosh. We were really excited to get this aircraft here. You probably saw as well, it flew on its own power across the Atlantic, which is a huge milestone for this aircraft. Uh, and we really are um, expecting it to be a hit in the North American market. With the fact that it's a retractable gear aircraft, we see you know better efficiency and the goal with that was really let's make this aircraft as fast as we can so by re retracting that gear that's what we achieved um, you'll also notice if you've dug into the specs a little bit uh, the useful load is actually quite high you're looking at about you know between 1100 and 1200 pounds depending on how the aircraft is specced and you've definitely got lots of room in that cabin because the same cabin um, the DA-50 is the same cabin as the DA-62. So you can fit comfortably five people with plenty of bags and take off to wherever you need to go. Uh, if you had to sort of sketch out the target typical customer for the DA-50RG, who would that be? What would they be like? We expect that the DA-50 will be well received by clients or customers that are in their, you know, initial research for their first aircraft. The DA-50 will be the perfect aircraft for somebody with a small family that is looking to travel safely, socially distanced with their own aircraft. It definitely has that diamond DNA, so that you know high controllability and that long wing with that stability. So anybody that will have the chance to fly the DA-50, we'll see how stable of a platform it is and how that glider DNA really comes through. And are you still expecting to deliver the aircraft on a wide scale in the United States in Q2 of 22? Yeah, so our first uh, deliveries are scheduled to coincide with the FAA validation. So that'll be Q3 2022. We've got 10 aircraft coming over next year. And then we expect that number to increase significantly by 2023. Tell us a little bit about the fuel dynamics surrounding Diamond products. I think a lot of people like to talk about that when talking about Diamond. How the marketing strategy aligns with fuel economics in places, say, where Avgas is really expensive. So to your point, Avgas is much more expensive than jet fuel. And not only that, it's not readily available in world markets, whereas jet fuel is available in most markets. So Diamond's really focused on this essentially jet fuel powered piston engine, so our proprietary Austro engine, to really help with one, the cost savings of the fuel itself, and two, the availability of the fuel on the world market. Diamond's really focused on that, not just for the readily available jet fuel, also 100 low lead is actually a really great marketing name because it's not low lead. It's four times higher lead content than, uh, than the fuel you put in your vehicle. So jet fuel is really the greener option and looking forward uh, to integrating our jet fuel advantage with our electric advantage that we're working on right now and really working towards greener general aviation. Can you um, speak in general to aviation's um, push lately for green products and feeling like it's more environmentally responsible in the bigger picture with all the other industries? Yeah, so last year there was a study published in the U.S. that looked at lead content um, in the air, so airborne lead content. And it was found in the study that 70% of airborne lead contamination in the U.S., was due to general aviation. Not only that, there's carbon emissions that are being looked at in general, and whether it's general aviation or aviation as a, an industry in general, everyone is looking to reduce and become greener and save our environment and save essentially our, our, our world. Um, so Diamond's really heavily invested in that space and it really matches with our thinking. Uh, I, I also think that people are really interested in the construction properties surrounding Diamond aircraft. I'm sure you visited a factory. Tell us a little bit about what goes um, into putting together one of the Diamond aircraft. So our airplanes are pretty unique in the way they're, they're laid up. Uh, we have fully composite aircraft, so fiberglass or carbon fiber. 
And it all starts with a sheet that's rolled up that gets pulled through a machine, impregnated, so we do wet layup, and then hand molded into things that fly in the sky. So these wonderful, luxurious, comfortable aircraft start as essentially a sheet of cloth. And it really is something that is impressive and incredible to see. So I invite anybody that's in the area where our factories are to check it out and take a look for yourself. Fantastic. That is so fascinating. What else really differentiates Diamond products from the competitors? Um, when you're thinking about a Diamond aircraft, what makes it unique? There's a, several things that come to mind, but the very first one that's at the, at the top of everyone's mind in aviation is safety. So Diamond is safety by design. There are several elements um, that are designed into the aircraft that will protect the occupants of the cabin in the event of a crash, because not all crashes are preventable, unfortunately. But not only that, we have the highest safety record in general aviation in the world. So that speaks for itself right there. But on top of the safety, it's the comfort and the luxury that comes with the Diamond aircraft. It, it really does have that feel of a German sports car. Um, where you get in, everything's leather, and the, the high-touch surfaces really are just something you, you can't take your hands off of. That's fantastic. Um, those are all the questions I have today. Was there anything I didn't really touch on that you wanted to mention? Um, I think we've got everything together today, so I appreciate the time. Thank you very much. And, Thank uh, you, and congratulations on your announcement about um, the electric diamond aircraft. That's really exciting. Thank you. Yeah, I look forward to, to keeping in touch, and uh, we look forward to bringing this aircraft to market here pretty soon and getting the DA-50 to the U.S. as well. All right. Thank you. Anne-Marie Mercedes Heikenwalder and the Diamond Aircraft. Thank you so much for taking time to be with us today. And thank you for watching. I'm Tom Patterson with Flying.